Microsoft has released a few new functions for the version 2021 of Excel. These functions have one thing in common. They spill the results to adjust themselves. One such function is the sort function. In our sheet, we see a table of students. We want this table sorted by the grade in mathematics in descending order. But we don't want to change the current table. We want to copy it in the cell area E1 to G25 and apply the sorting there. We can select all the table. Click on copy and then go to E1 and click on paste. Next, to select a cell in column G and click on the sort and filter button of the ribbon. There, we select descending order, largest to smallest. But what happens if we change the grade in the initial table? For example, the grade of Kimberly was mistyped. It should be 7, not 17. This means that uh, now we have to change it in both tables. Luckily, we now have a faster way. Let's delete the values of the secondary table. We will use the sort function. In uh, E2, we type the name of the function. The first argument is our data, the cell range A2 up to C25. Next, we have to select the number of the column we want our data to be sorted by. We want to sort them by the grade in mathematics, which is the third column, so we type 3. Next, we want to select the sort order. Ascending order is designated with the number 1, while descending order is designated with the number minus 1. We type minus 1 since we want descending sorting. The next option defines whether we want to sort by column or not. We want to sort by row, so we select false. We click on enter and our table is sorted, just like before. Let's uh, change the grade of Kimberly to 20. The sorting of the second table was immediately refreshed and Kimberly appeared at the first place. This function belongs to a new kind of functions which spill their results to adjacent cells. If we click on the other cells, we can see that the value in the formula bar is grayed out. If we change this value, for example, change Kimberly's uh, mathematics grade to 7, then a spill error appears in cell E2 and our table vanishes. This error means that the spill range isn't blank. If we delete the value we had uh, just typed, the table comes back to life. Let's go to the next sheet to try one more example. In this sheet, we have the grades of six students to five lessons. We want the student's column to be sorted in ascending order by student name. We want the new sorting option to be visible in a copy of the table in cells A8 to G13. We have the headings of the rows already copied there. We select cell B8 and start typing the sort function. The source cell area is B1 up to G6. We want to sort by the first row, which contains the names, so we type 1. We want ascending order, so we type 1 again. For the last argument, we select true, since we want to sort by column. And there it is. Our table has been sorted by column in ascending order. These are simple examples of how to use the function. But the potential of the sort function, especially in dashboard creation, is limited only by your imagination. Mm -hmm.